who want to fight? Who else want to fight? Any bitch in this house want to fight? We can fight. And I'm not about it. I'm not playing these games. I'm sick and tired of you bitches in this house. Like, I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. What's good? What do y'all want to do? What do y'all want to do? I'm not going to go home without a fight. That's it. What's up? Who want to fight me? Who wants to check me right now? Because I'm not the one to be played with. So let's get it. What's up, Cream? You want to fight? Let's go, sis. What's good? You don't want these problems, Emery. You don't want these problems, sis. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm trying to let you know right now. You want to fight all of us? We're going to line up, sis. I ain't backing down for nothing. We're going to line up. Let's go. <laughs> and Lucille is laughing, bro. I'm your host Eden Parks and I'm excited to announce the hotties for season one. These ladies are coming harder than ever. So watch out. These hotties are coming to your screen. Yeah. She bad and never basic. Got a love and hate relation. That's all on a penetrating. And I got that super drip. So you know she's skating. And we were always on business. So we never dating. Just fucking that money makers. And I fuck with the shorty. Because she's super cool. You fucking with a boss. Go ahead, take off your shoes. Look, I'ma taste this drink. Then I'ma taste on you. We out in San Jose. That's fish and rose. And I ain't tricking, but she's so bad that I pay. We fucking on the jet. And it was worth the wait. And I can't spend so much time cause I'm a paper chase. And this money when she shake it, I'm high, I'm elevated. And we bought money, baby. So I told her to get that money, baby. And now she never wait because she lost her patience. And you ain't talking to bad. Then what you say? You don't think she bad in the bad? <laughs> Man, you claim. If the artist capping ass niggas will be flexing on that bullshit. Jones. Wouldn't have a chance if I gave it to you like my niggas hood rich A bag, I keep it on me, so what I need you for I'm bad, I know you want it, but I can't give it up So don't waste your time, cause I know how much you need to be, be. So don't waste your time, cause I know how much you need to be, be. What is up my Zell Bells? Welcome back to the channel you guys. Welcome back to another video. If you're new around here, hey what's up? Welcome my name is Courtney. Better go by Giselle Sims and come along on this journey with us and join the family. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos that I do post. And while you're down there, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up because we're lit over here and the family will tell you period. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I said welcome back to another 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 video <laughs> welcome back to another video you guys we are back with hotties in the valley and yes y'all today 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 we are going to be going to the radio station y'all yes the radio station okay the hotties are being interviewed today and the fans have questions you know what i'm saying so you know they gotta answer the fans and of course they gotta get to the bag so this is finally their rising moment okay and they're finally getting to the money okay if it ain't about the money <laughs> they're finally getting to the money they're finally getting to the bag okay cha-ching yes but anyway y'all so 
if y'all watched the last episode, you guys know that we got some new girls up in the house, okay? And it was it kind of went a little south. It went a little crazy. Uh, Emery tried to come for Cream because, you know, Cream basically came up in the house and she didn't like, Emery didn't like the way that Cream came off and how she's talking, how she's walking, how she's dressing, how she's coming. But, you know, you can't be mad at the way she is. That's just her, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But um, also, Lucille and Jasmine got into a fight. And <laughs> it's like they just, their friendship is just so toxic. Like, it's not even a friendship. It's more so like they're, they're frenemies. Like, they have this toxic relationship where the woman that they hate each other, the next, the next minute they're talking, they follow each other around the house. It's just a bunch of chaos. But we're not going to get into it. I want to wait until the reunion, y'all, to actually get into all the deets. Okay? So let's get into the episode. So, Lucille looking like this because Mercedes just came downstairs and was trying to flirt with her and she was just like, girl, no, like you're not about to do all of that. So I don't know what's going on with them, them two, but yeah, they got some issues going on. So Mercedes, she's taking it too, too far now because I know I had a little thing for her back in the beginning when we first got to the hottie's house, but now it's just like, I'm not really feeling her. I thought I was into girls, but I'm really not like. Mercedes a little rough on the edges and she got a little boo so I'm just like trying to fall back from the whole situation but she just keep on coming and coming like I know I got some good sussy but daggone sis I really felt like I had something with Lucille but at the end of the day I felt like now she's just like falling back from me I don't really know what it is but I guess it's because I'm talking to old dude or whatever but like sis you playing hard to get but whole time behind these cameras you be all up in my face and so the radio station we're going to the radio station tonight probably around like 6 7 p.m or whatever you know what i'm saying they got their little schedule set up and whatnot and whatnot um i do have things planned i'm hoping maybe the next episode we're going to be doing a meet and greet for the fans to come out and you know what i'm saying meet all the hotties also hopefully they can meet some celebrities and collab and stuff like that you know what i'm saying so all the ladies actually have um some fame now Ever since I've been into this hottie's house, I've been getting mad, mad love outside of my hometown and in the valley, like all around the world, actually. Like, I've been getting so much love and I really appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? Who would have thought a girl like me would be here, you know, on national television and, you know, sharing my whole entire life with the world? Like, this is so crazy to me, but I'm so thankful and I'm so blessed. And, you know, we finally get into some money now that the new girls are here. You know what I'm saying? Us three girls finally getting everybody situated and ready for them to make some money. Like, this is crazy. But at the same time, I'm here for it all. You know, when you get into reality TV and stuff like that, you start becoming noticeable. Um, You know, you become a little famous. So, <laughs> she... Okay, we're on Cream. So, Cream basically um is a notable um newcomer so she, her fame is gonna slowly get up there of course you know what i'm saying um let's check emory real quick emory's also a notable is she a notable Hold on. hey what's up lucille i've noticed your name has been all in the buzz lately how do you feel about catching up i mean we were always friends before you made it big right who is this oh snap y'all ignore it my freaking game well a lot of things have happened as far as uh <laughs> cc being gone skins being taken out and i had to get the makeovers this is raylan y'all i got my headline effects off but this is raylan and raylan don't look like raylan no more you know what i'm saying but it is what it is I'm gonna get through it <laughs> am i spelling that right no i'm not but yeah raylan decided to pop up i think i spelled it wrong again headline I'm so slow. What the heck? Is that it? Yeah. Raylan's here and she was just like saying something to Lucille. So, but no, for real. I think I need to cheat her info because she's supposed to be um also uh of course she's going to have a little bit of fame because uh you know, she's like a notable uh newcomer too. But we're not about to talk to her right now. We've got things to do. So, <laughs> Let's check on all the ladies because I haven't had a chance. But everybody has some type of fan work or whatever. Uh, what's this? Made an enemy. Fell in love. 
Oh yeah, she did fall in love. Okay, so Mercedes is a rising star. Everybody loves Sadie's, okay? Everybody loves big Sadie's, but her reputation, mm, you know, I really appreciate all the love that y'all been giving me. Like, my fans really love me, and I really, really appreciate it, man. Like, if it wasn't for, for y'all, like, for real, I wouldn't even be here, to be honest. Like, this music industry, the music career, all that stuff that I got going on in my life, like, I would not be doing it if it wasn't for y'all. So, I really appreciate y'all so much. Like, this is an opportunity that I don't want to ever miss out on. So, that's why I had to calm down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's neutral. It's not there yet. She got to get that going. Got to get that together. Um, Amora. I messed up Amora. <laughs> Amara is a notable newcomer, of course, because she's new to the, the show. And, you know, she doesn't have, like, a lot of fan base right now. But, of course, she working on it. Now, Eden, on the other hand, y'all, y'all know she's a global superstar, okay? She is the face of the valley, like she says all the time. And she basically, uh, she, she hosts the show. Like, this is her show. She makes money for the show. So, literally, she makes more money than the girls in the house, of course, because she's the face of the valley and she's the, the host. <laughs> y'all, so I've been thinking really, really hard. And I already know for a fact that I'm not coming back to the hottie's house for season two i will be at my house in my little penthouse or wherever i'm gonna be at chilling vibing relaxing but i do know that your girl is gonna have another show coming out and it's gonna be about me and that's just that i can't deal with these girls okay maybe some cigars can come up in the house and we can see what's gonna happen from there yeah so she is her fame is there her reputation is pristine so yeah y'all know eden had you know her own little show before eden parks so lauren she's a rising star everybody loves lauren plus lauren has been in this industry uh, before um being in the hottest house is like nothing new to me like being on reality tv i've done it before as a kid you know growing up doing like disney movies and stuff or disney, disney tv shows and stuff like that i'm familiar with the tv screen but um you know i do my modeling and stuff like that so i'm used to the you know the fame my fans my subscribers my followers it has grown over the years since i've been doing this so this is nothing new i just told my followers you know saying your girl will be in the hottest house to so check your girl out watch the show and stuff you know and that's just about that you know that's it um as far as like modeling and stuff like that so yeah uh who else jasmine I think she's a notable oh no she's a rising star too but her reputation is bad y'all because all she be doing is fighting like sis be fighting all the time man what it don't even be my fault for me be fighting it be these beaches in this house that be hating on your girl they want to be me so so bad to the point where they always want to fight and hate on your girl like i'm just here i'm being me i'm beautiful i can sing i'm very talented and i think that's why they hating on me you know so that's what's going on with her <laughs> And then Lucille, girl, what's your reputation? It's neutral and she's a B-lister. You know, being in this hottie's house really made me change my mind about a lot of things. I don't want to be famous, to be honest. Like, I'd rather just live a simple old life because now I got hate comments coming to me. I got people that follow me, that love me, to be honest, support your girl. But also, I'm getting threat texts and everything from random numbers. Like, because they want to hate on me because I'm real. I don't like that, but it's okay. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate all my subscribers, my lovers, and everybody that's supporting your girl because I'm just being me and I'm just being real. That's it. Everybody love Lucille, country girl Lucille. But of course, um, hopefully I didn't miss nobody, but of course the girls are basically got attitudes with each other and stuff like that because they're in the same room and blah, 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 blah. What? Why is everybody coming for Lucille right now? Hey, what's up, Lucille? I know that your, your name has been all on the bus. No, girl, we not talking. I don't want Lucille coming. I mean, Lin Yang coming here right now. You know what's crazy? I've been fighting for my friend this whole entire time, and I ain't hear from your girl Lin Yang in a long time. She ain't even hit me up ever since she left the hottie's house. And now all of a sudden, because she see me blowing up and all of that, now she want to be on my line. Like, that's crazy to me. How can you be my friend the whole time you over there being fake for real? I've been having your back. I've been fighting these beaches in this house, defending you when you not here and all of that. And all you can do is start hitting me up now. Talk about now that I'm making it, I'm changing and stuff like that. Like, girl, bye. Like, you could have been the same way if you was on the TV with me, but you had to go home. Poor baby. I'm not dealing with this. Wow, Morris is trying. Everybody's trying to talk to us. We need to lock our door because these mother truckers are gonna try to come over and it's not happening look 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 at um look at freaking um 
Raylan trying to come in here. Girl, no. Reset. No, you're not coming in. At this point, I'm hoping that Eden next season, she gets some good security because there's people coming up to the Hottie's house trying to come inside and all this other crazy stuff. Like, we ain't even talking to y'all. Y'all ain't even been here. Like, what's going on? Sorry. It's not happening. Like, they're really trying to come in here and, like, do too much. Don't do too much. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to have her go ahead and update social media status because we got to work on her fame as well. We got to work on all the ladies' fame because, of course, that's what we're supposed to be doing. And she's going to share an image. Pretend like she just took like a little selfie or something like that. And let's go ahead and advertise. Um, she's just gonna advertise, I guess, hotties or whatever. Y'all know I had to let the fans know, you know what I'm saying? We playing this big old event coming up for a meet and greet. And I had to let them know they better be there and be on that red carpet with us because we about to be so lit, getting turned. We finally get into some money, and that's what the fuck I'm talking about. Eden, I want Eden to plan an event, of course. Everybody's trying to talk to everybody right now. Like, please, go on. I thought she had a social media. I guess not. Where are you better go, sis? No, stay right here. Because we finna, um, I purchased, well, shoot. Go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> um, let me see. Go ahead and update your status. Because y'all gotta work on y'all followers. Like, how y'all, y'all reputation is so good, but y'all only got a little bit of followers. Like, that doesn't make sense, so... You have to work on this. Um, share image. All right, where's Mercedes? Was she in her room? She sure was. She came up in her room because she was so embarrassed. Like, girl, it's okay. One thing about big Sadies is, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to cry over no beach. No, I'm actually dealing with a lot of stuff at home. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my mom, she up at the hospital. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? I really need to be with my mother, but... You know, I'm going to stay because we only got a couple more episodes before the season over. You know what I'm saying? So, I know I'm going to get home soon. It ain't no major thing where she going to die or nothing like that. So, I know I'm good. I know she good. But, mama, I'm coming. I, I promise. Amira, what are you doing? Oh, girl, not her over here giving Emery a freaking hand massage. Like, girl, what are you doing? So, I actually like Emery. She's really cool to me. I mean, we've been hitting it off really good. You know, she just be chilling. I be chilling. You know what I'm saying? I feel like she's not in a lot of drama or nothing like that. So I kind of can kick it with her. Like the other girls seem a little too aggressive and I'm just not an aggressive person. I Like I said, if you start skits with me, I will take off my shoes and beat your ass. But I don't really like to fight. You know what I'm saying? I like to keep it cute and classy and that's just how I am. But, you know, me and her been hanging out and stuff like that. I'm over here, you know, giving her hand massage and stuff. But yeah, she's pretty cool. She's telling me, you know, her life story and things about her life and stuff, you know. I can't knock her hustle, you know what I'm saying? We on the same road right now. We trying to make it. Everybody trying to come over here and stuff. Hopefully paparazzi don't come. Like, hopefully they don't come. Um, Let me have her. Just brighten her day, I guess. Like, girl, you over here doing her hands and stuff. So, Amira seems pretty, pretty cool. I actually fuck with her. I like her a lot. She's not like the rest of the hotties in the house. You know, she's chill. She's laid back like myself. I don't start skits. I bring the skits. But sometimes, you know, I don't start it. Beaches want to come to me and tell me stuff or start skits with me. But I feel like me and America can be good friends. And we can actually relate to, like, a lot of things in our lives. So, I'm here for it, sis. All right. Let's see. Yep. She's over here talking to Eden. Let's have them get to know each other, I guess. Like, what's going on, you know? Who's calling Eden? Hold on. Tiffany's calling. Hey, Eden, I think Beth Sterling is pretty cute. Should I ask her out? Go for it. <laughs> but wow. Alright, so they're just talking. So I'm sitting over here talking with Lauren, letting her know about this event that's coming up. Letting her know it's going to be huge. And I feel like she can play a big role in this part. Like, I really want her to be the opening act which i want her to model of course and take her poses and get the photos done and stuff like that well at least the person after me <laughs> <laughs> give fake bad news i guess okay maybe one more turn you muse to yourself payout boulevard is just ahead unfortunately you took what detour down broke street when the spot what sponsorship fell through and the words lucille oh. didn't even get paid and lost whoa she lost 163 followers Maybe I shouldn't be so loyal to Beaches the way that I am because they're not loyal to me. 
you know i feel it i really feel like really messed up because it's just like dang i've been having this girl back people been watching me on the tv screen not lynn yang she ain't been here and all of a sudden now i got all these hate comments i got all these people coming at my throat and i'm losing subscribers and followers and stuff like that like that's messed up i don't really like that but it is what it is you know what i'm saying you win some you lose some i'm a little drunk right now because i'm a little mad about it y'all i'm in a confessional but anyways i just feel some type of way and i hope that you know you guys can understand why <laughs> how bro <Garza>. yeah. <laughs> how wow they in the okay so Emery and Amira are in here in the beauty room just chatting it up talking or whatever so I'm gonna just let them go ahead and have their little conversations and stuff cream she's still of course probably in her feelings about what happened when she first got into the house so I'm gonna have her and Lucille since they're actually just sitting here oh she's better talk to her anyway what would you better say to her? Okay, I'm gonna just let them chat it out. So I haven't had the chance to really sit down and talk with Lucille. So I kind of wanted to fill her out. You know, she seems pretty cool and whatnot and whatnot. Um, you know, the house has already been hectic since, I, since I've been here. But um, hopefully me and Lucille can kick it off good. We can become friends and stuff like that. Because I really like her. She seems really cool. She's pretty and stuff like that. I'm pretty, so we can be good friends. She's like, hey girl. She's like, hey, what's up? And Lucille's like, how you like in, um, the house? How you like being here so far and stuff like that? You like everybody? Like, how's that, you know? How's everything with that? And she's just like, well, I mean, um, let me see. That's interest. It's a lot, y'all, because we got to do all of this, you know? But yeah, she's just like, I mean, I, the girls is fine. The only one that kind of rubbed me the wrong way was uh, Emery, but... I mean, it's okay because at the end of the day, oh, is that her little boo thing? That was that dude. Uh, what's the face? Um, I gotta fix his eyes, but that was Josiah. Girl, come talk to Josiah. What are you doing? Share image. Okay, when she gets done with that, I'm gonna have her come outside and talk to her little boo. In all honesty, me and Josiah, we just cool. We only friends for real, for real. Like, I need me a real strong man. Somebody that's really making that bag for real. And y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, Let's be friendly. Discuss interest or whatever with him. But yeah, so Cream is just like, yeah, I mean, I had the issue with uh, Emery. But that's basically it. I feel like me and Emery could have been really, really cool, to be honest. But until she wanted to come at me sideways, I'm just not rocking with that. Like, I can't bark with somebody who's going to come for me because of where I came from or how I sound, how I dress, how I act, how I look. I mean, I know who I am, you know what I'm saying? But I was raised by, you know, black people. So it's just like, this is my mentality. This is who I am. And the beach was hating. And at the end of the day, she feels like she has competition now because... You know, there's another white girl in the house and, you know, on the other side, not the countryside, but like, you know, me, like just being me. So it's just like, I just felt like she was a hating ass bitch. So it's just like, girl, I don't have nothing to do with how you're feeling, your insecurities, anything like that. But I don't want to kick with you. I don't want to be cool with you. I try to give you a chance to try to talk to you and then you want to play with me. Like, no, I'm not having that. Like, I really want to fight, to be honest, because... I just don't like nobody playing with my top, to be honest. She's like, that's basically it. I just feel like she don't know me like that. And for her to be saying stuff out of her mouth or coming at me incorrect, you know, that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I just, I'm not feeling it. I understand where Cream was coming from because if that was me, I'd be dragging Emery up and down the street, to be honest. Because if you coming for me like that and you don't even know nothing about me, then you deserve to get your sass up. Like, girl, why is you even playing with her? Like, she came in here with a good mindset, being nice to everybody, spoke to everybody, and then you want to start skits with her? Like, girl, please. Emery, at this point, you're a hater, and you just need to go home because, girl, I'm sick of you. Bussell, and she's like, yeah, I feel you on that. And she's like, I understand that, you know. Um, but Beaches is always going to hate. Like, you won't have to deal with that. Like, that's an everyday thing for me. You know, I go through with these girls in this house all the time, and they just you know they seem to hate on me for some reason but i stay in my lane i say to myself i don't got time for the beaches in this house you know and that's what you're probably gonna have to do if you want to 
survive in this house, you're going to have to, like, you know, have tough skin, baby girl. Have tough skin. She's like, yeah, I always got tough skin. I'm not, girl, I'm not even, I'm not no punk. One thing my mama taught me was to never back down from a fight and hold my own to stand my ground. I'm not scared of no bitch, okay? I'm not backing down from no fight. I have tough skin, okay? I have brothers and everything. Like, we used to play fight. We used to fight, fight. And I just got tough skin. Like, I'm not no punk, and I'm not going to back down from a fight. So if Emery wants to fight, we can fight. And I want her to know that because I really don't like her, and I want to check her for real, for real. She's like, I'm not no punk, so they gonna have to be ready for me. But I know Emery got to come in eventually because I don't like the beach after she tried to come for me. Is she What's trying to get a singing? Is she trying to sing? Oh, they in here actually kicking it off, hitting it off. And then Emery's gonna talk to um, Amira. And she just like... I know you're a new girl and all, you know, but you seem really cool. Like, I actually fuck with you. You know, you're not like the other girls. Like, the other girls kind of seem, like, stuck up-ish. But you were, like, real laid back and chill when you came into the house. You didn't say nothing to nobody. You ain't come off, you know, wrong or nothing like that. Why y'all going to go clean? Hello? I'm in the middle of a conversation. Who's she about to go ping pong with who? Who's in here? How did he even get, look... Morris, please go. You don't even have your clothes, your proper freaking clothes, and your eyes is messed up. It's a lot going on. You didn't come out here and tell him to go. She's going to be like, you got to go because I'm mad at you. So I haven't even talked to Morris ever since the whole incident, and he stormed off at the club. What would make you think that you should show up at my spot and talk to me or think that you're coming in here and try to talk to me? I'm not having that. Like, no, I don't have no words for you right now, and I need my space, Morris. Please go somewhere before I slap the heck out of you. She's like, I'm mad at you. You got to go. Girl, you was just on that toilet and didn't even wash your hands. Little nasty beach. All right, let's just go ahead and unlock the doors. I don't know. The hotties, the other hotties that were here shouldn't have even been able to come in here, but they did. But whatever. Okay, y'all. So they're going to go ahead and go to the radio station or whatnot and whatnot. And I'm going to see you guys once we get to the station. Good evening. Good evening to all my good old fellow Simmers out here in the world. You know what I'm saying? You catching up. You checking in with your girl Easy and my home skillet. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Our radio station. Yeah, we come to play. Hey, hey, what's good? We got the hotties in the valley up in here. The hotties. What's up, y'all? How y'all living? How y'all feeling? <laughs> We're doing good. It's definitely an honor to be here, honestly. Definitely an honor. So, um, so Eden, you definitely doing your big one with this one. Like this is the biggest show right now and the biggest deal right now and the hot topic of the story right now and the hot topic of the world. You trending right now all over the world. Like, how does that feel? Like, how do you feel being the hot topic right now as we speak in to these people on this radio live right now? Um, so it's definitely an honor to be here. It's definitely an honor to actually be able to do something like this with my girls. Yeah, we have a lot of things planned. We've been getting to the bag, making this money and stuff like that. Like, I honestly feel so alive, so free and just happy I can be here. Period. Do this hosting, this show for all the hotties to be able to make it and blow up in this world, in this industry. Yes, my girls are doing it big and I'm just so happy. You know, we, we have our ups and downs. I know y'all be watching the show. Like, it get a little crazy up in that hottie's house. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I've been watching the show. And all I've been seeing is y'all fighting and drinking and turning up and going wild and crazy. And boyfriends and ex-boyfriends. Like, it's a little crazy. I mean, speak for me. Tell you if I'm wrong or something, you know? I mean, nah, you ain't bugging. That's what I've been seeing, too, on the TV screen. Like, y'all been fighting. I've been hearing y'all ain't been making no money. Y'all ain't been getting to the back. Like, what's good with that? Like, the fans want to know we want to know everything like spill the tea on what's been going on why y'all ain't been making the money like y'all supposed to been doing like if i was on that show i'll be making money hella hard like what's really good i mean i'll be the one to tell it all though you know honestly like we've been trying to make money and stuff like that but all the fighting and stuff that we do in the house you know it get a little crazy 
producers and you know artists don't want to work with us because all we do is fight you know we just finally started getting to the bag i don't know what eden's been doing she's been slacking a lot you know i haven't seen no money in my hand just yet but you know i'm, I'm gonna keep it real because i'm a real sad sitch you know what i'm saying so i'm a country girl but i am real and i keep it real with everybody in this house and i don't play that but yeah i want to honestly i will blame it on eden to be honest i'm blaming eden I mean, dang, like, that's kind of tough, though. You know what I'm saying? Easy, like, what? How you gonna blame your host for you not getting the bag? Like, you not making your own money. You know what I'm saying? I done seen the show. I've been watching it. And Sadie's, Big Sadie's, Mercedes, man, she been getting to the bag. She been working with Damani. Damani is one of the highest, highest upcoming artists right now. And he's out here doing it big. He's doing that big one for him and his family. Like, I get that man props all day, every day. Man, we talk tea over here. We ain't nothing, ain't nothing fake over here. But how you gonna blame your host though for you not making no money when you can be out here making your own money? Social media, all of that crazy skits. Like, come on, man. What's up, G? Nah, I mean, I feel what Lucille is talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, she is the host. You know, she's supposed to be the one actually getting them to that bag, helping them get that check, you know what I'm saying, making plans, doing the events and stuff like that. And then like on top of that, like the fighting and stuff or she not backing up or backing down for anything like she don't got their back for real in the house. Like she not laying skits down the way she's supposed to and being, you know, tough on these girls. So they not out here taking life serious. They not taking this skit serious. They just like, oh, we on reality TV. You feel me? Hold on. Hold on. Let me jump in real quick because no, it's not that. That they are not getting to the bag it's not that it's all my fault it's not that i'm the one that's keeping them from making money because at the end of the day they are grown sass women who can make their own money and do what they gotta do like i did you know what i'm saying but they want to depend on a woman to take care of them and that's not how things are supposed to go so with that being said you know lucille i feel like you kind of need to mature yourself a little bit and tone down your little anger and your little attitude with me because i'm not the one that you need to be mad at you should be mad at yourself no eden i'm sure all the girls feel this way it's not just me they feel like you are the problem child okay it's not just me right y'all <laughs> i mean i honestly can agree we don't get to the back like we supposed to skid i've been making my I mean, own i can't really which, speak i'm in my own lane you know like these you girls know, been, like, but, yeah um, i mean yeah eden we've been watching the show that's all they've been doing was complaining about no money well i mean you have to act right in order for y'all to get paid and you know what i'm saying get gigs but you guys are not doing that you guys are acting like animals and want to argue and fight while they got dang on time like what am i supposed to do we're not getting no booking i mean well maybe you can try hiring other girls that's gonna get the bag like you're not making no sense okay ladies ladies hold on now and it's not no therapy session now we on live record right live radio like <laughs> what's going on hold on Y'all can do this at home because I really know the show going to be crazy. It's going to be juicy. But um, what I got to ask is, you know, because the fans want to know, they have a couple of questions for all you hotties or whatever. Most of y'all, maybe I will say like the OG ones, they have questions for us. So hold on, I'm going to pull up my phone real quick so I can get these questions up because they have a lot of questions they want to know. Uh, Tay, you got anything you want to say while we wait? Yeah, so this question is for Cream. How do you feel about not making it on the show after auditions and what made you accept the offer? Well, since the fans want to know, I'll tell it. So, honestly, I felt kind of, like, upset because I felt like I deserved to have um, been here, uh, which I'm here now. But it's just like, I was like, okay, wait, I didn't make the auditions, but he didn't call me back up and was like, hey, I need you to come in, you know, for a replacement. So, it kind of made me feel like, okay, well... I mean, I was, I could have been an original, you know what I'm saying? But then I wasn't an original because <laughs> somebody else got my spot. But, um, honestly, I feel like, I don't know. I took the offer because, for the simple fact is, I was getting paid for this, you know what I'm saying? I wanted the money and, you know, I was in a hard time and a hard place or whatever, living in, you know, my mama house and stuff like that, trying to get on my feet again. So I was just like, you know what, let me go ahead and do this. I'm going to take that offer because I really need the money and I wanted to be able to take care of my family. So that's what I did. I mean, skids. I can't argue with an honest woman. You feel me? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, all right. Next question. So this question is for Jasmine. Uh, do you feel like you was you got here by luck because you didn't even audition and somehow even, you know, she called you up, told you to come and, you know, had the girls fight for their spots and stuff like 
so how do you feel about that like do you feel like you know that was by luck or did you feel like that was fair of you to get in you know in the hottest house and you know somebody losing their spot you know then yang went home and skits like that so i'm a little curious because that kind of made me mad you know watching that scene i mean i didn't feel like <laughs> like i didn't feel like you know what i'm saying like it was unfair because that's how reality tv does go you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day i'm sorry i'm a little lit y'all but at the end of the day <sighs> i just feel like you know um i did get here by luck yes of course but you know that was Edith's choice not my choice so at the end of the day like i just did what i did i played my role and i did what i had to do and i got here so i'm here and Lin yang went home she got her sass beat so that's not my fault you know um that's just that i mean part of me if i chime in but i mean i feel like you know that was fucked up a little bit because like Lin yang was there she was an original and eating what you did was fucked up because you know what i'm saying you knew what you was doing at the end of the day i understand maybe you was trying to like make a point you felt like Lin yang probably ain't have tough skin but i really did fuck with Lin yang like a lot of people all the fans fucked with her like they really like her they was rocking with her so why would you even have put her in that predicament to even make her go home like that like that was kind of fucked up you feel me i mean i just feel like if you want to be a hottie you have to be a hottie and have to have thick skin tough skin at that because this industry is nothing to play with like i've been in this industry for like a minute now and it's just like you get hate comments threats and stuff like that like i didn't think she was ready for all of that so what you're saying is you thought Lin yang was a punk that's what you're telling me like from my understanding i'm pretty sure everybody else probably feel the same way you know because a lot of people don't fuck with you now because of what you did like i felt like that was unfair like i was even yelling at the tv screen when i was watching i'm like dang like lin yang was cool as fuck you know what i'm saying like yeah she probably was you know the softest one in the house but at the end of the day being in that hottie's house would have made her tough you know what i'm saying she probably ain't had to go through that she probably ain't deal with that you know what i'm saying but i can't wait to the reunion because i want to hear her side of the story and how she feel about that whole situation y'all know i'm gonna tune in y'all better tune in y'all listening to this radio station right now tune in yeah i mean i mean i feel like you know lin yang definitely would have probably made it this far you know what i'm saying i would love to have interviewed her as well and her being on the radio station you know talking about her being in the hottest house you know her experience you know what i'm saying but her coming from you know busan uh korea and skits like that you know she got a different aspect in life so i would definitely want to probably you know do something with her talk to her a little bit and get the you know her sides of the story of course you know this ain't gonna be the last uh radios you know interview we're gonna be doing you know what i'm saying you know we gotta have the hotties come in all the time you know what i'm saying like we lit over here right yeah yeah we lit <laughs> that's what i'm talking about but uh yeah so of course i want to do multiple interviews like i want to talk to all the hotties to be honest like i don't know if you want boy easy but you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get trinity up in this piece too because like trinity she was cool as fuck like i don't even know why Eden sent her home yeah but i got into the comments you know what i'm saying so that's another question that you know one of the fans did ask so we're gonna get into that in a minute momentarily but um i do got a couple of questions that i do want to ask a few of you hotties real quick if y'all don't mind all right so this question is for emery uh so how did you feel when trinity got sent home knowing that she was your roommate and you guys were kind of cool and do y'all still talk like i know y'all had a little falling out or whatever in the beginning of the season and stuff like that but i know y'all hashed that skits out so like yeah what's up what's tea with that um so honestly real honest skits like i feel like i was messed up when trinity did get sent home because i felt like that wasn't her fault and she didn't deserve to get sent home and even put her hands on her first you know what i'm saying she came at her sideways and she should have went to her her man before she went to trinity at the end of the day because your man was in the wrong but whole time like i'm not one to judge you know but i just feel like trinity did not deserve to go home and yeah i still do be talking to her time to time but not like that like i would be like i would text her and she wouldn't even respond so it's just like are we cool or are we not cool like i'm confused you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day we grown women up in here and i'm not about to keep on pressing to be friends with somebody that don't want to be cool with me you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day kudos to her i'm hoping that she's doing good in life and stuff like that that's all i gotta say let me just say this because now i feel like y'all picking on me and it's just like okay first of all loyalty is loyalty to me and loyalty is everything to me and honestly yes me and trinity we were cool as fuck okay behind cameras on camera 
off camera you know what i'm saying but i felt like she was literally giving this man a show she was entertaining his sarcasm like she was entertaining him flirting with her and i was not feeling that like that's not right to me and if you're my friend you wouldn't be talking to my man you wouldn't even give my man any type of conversation that has anything to do with what he's saying to you flirting and stuff with him so i felt some type of way about that because i felt like okay you're supposed to be my friend but you're laughing and kiki keen with my man and then on top of that like he's flirting with you and then he rolls out so the only person that was there for me to say something to was you you know what i'm saying so that's why i did what i did and i said what i said and then the whole entire time on the way back to the hotties house the argument got worse and worse and we were still going back and forth bickering and battering at each other so that's how it escalated to the way that it did inside the hotties house when we got in there because of the simple fact of her running her mouth still and telling me what she was gonna do and telling me that i'm not um finna play with her and she's not gonna you know what i'm saying she's about that life and stuff like that that's what happened but i was gonna wait till the interview i mean until the reunion for me to say something about it because i didn't want to air her business out like that and air out what happened because she's not here to defend herself and i'm a real beach so i'm gonna wait until she comes for me to actually say what i gotta say so that's it for me okay okay yeah i kind of feel that though i feel what you're saying about loyalty like yeah i'm loyal too and like i'm real real loyal so when I, if i have one of my cigars or something like that you know what i'm saying try to holla at my girl you know i'm i'm ready to fight like i'm about to curse you out because you is entertaining them at the end of the day you know what i'm saying but like yeah y'all should have hashed that skits out because honestly like friends should be friends you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day man that's your own problems you know what i'm saying i'm about to sit here and lecture you and tell you what you need to do and how you need to rekindle your friendship and skits like that but i do feel like you was kind of like in the wrong but anyway we're gonna go ahead and go to the next question so this question um this question for lauren uh coming into the house lauren oh god <laughs> nah nah because i gotta ask because i saw the clip when you and the mayor was taking shots <laughs> okay go on all right like okay so did you feel like you was going to have problems with the girls you know coming into the house and is that why you was getting drunk like i want to know like i know you've been watching the hotties like you said in the clip as well so i want to know what's t like how you felt when you came up into this house and what you thought was going to happen you know what i'm saying did you feel like getting drunk was going to help you you know what i'm saying become a better you like were you not yourself are you not yourself unless you're drunk like what's up like the fans want to know these questions and i also want to know like i'm a little curious to know what the heck is going on like sis i watched the videos i watched the clip like you was taking shots back to back i don't even think they caught everything but i seen the clips <laughs> okay well first of all I, I was nervous as far okay i might not lie and you know with me watching the show and stuff like that seeing it outside like on the tv screen not being there being present i just felt like you know what's gonna happen if i come into this house how are the girls gonna think about me how are they gonna feel about me and stuff like that like just seeing them fighting all the time fighting over dumb skits and stuff like that i just felt like that was gonna be me but since i've been here so far you know our time has been perfectly fine like i haven't really gotten to it with none of the girls yet and they seem real cool you know what i'm saying i'm starting to get to know some of them on a different level you know they're pretty cool i would like to work with them in the future and stuff like that so um yeah i just feel like you know i don't know i just took them shots because i was nervous and you know not knowing what i was gonna walk into you know what i'm saying easy you know i feel where she coming from when she's talking about them shots for real like coming into a house that she don't even you know she don't even know the girls and she just walking into something like they could have been murderers for all she knew you know what i'm saying or they could have been ready to hang her by her of uh, big toe or something like that you know or you know they could have been ready to just like throw her out the window maybe probably throw her bed outside in the pool or she probably would have came with her pool i mean with her bed in the pool you know what i'm saying so you know i feel what she's saying when she's talking about like she ain't know like what to expect walking into that house you know it's a bunch of different ladies in there it was what five ladies in there six ladies in there and she don't even know none of them the only one she knew was a mayor like i feel her on that one like but at least you came in there you know what i'm saying with somebody like you ain't going there alone like cream did you know what i'm saying so yeah i, I feel it though i feel it no, nah, I mean, I feel where she coming from, you know what I'm saying? I just had to ask because, you know, that's been on my mind. And also, like, the fans did ask that question, you know what I'm saying? Because they're like, why is she so nervous? If you supposed to be a hottie, then, you know, why are you, uh, you know what I'm saying? Why are you being scared, you know? So I just had to ask that question because, you know what I'm saying, that was one of the um, topics, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just had to ask that question, though. But um, you got anything that, that you want to say real quick, Lauren? 
One thing about me though, I'm not scared and bad beaches are never scared. But it was just like the time that I just felt like, okay, wait, I don't know these girls. I'm about to be in this house with them. And it's just like, we all in the same, we underneath the same roof. You feel me? So I was a little nervous about it because I've been watching the show, like I said. So the fans, they always gonna have something to say or whatever. But at the end of the day, y'all still watch it. You know what I'm saying? I give mad love to my supporters though. Them haters, them trolls, they can keep on trolling because I wasn't scared. I just wanted to take shots to get lit anyway. So I can have good energy and be hyped up when I did walk up into the house because I didn't know how the girls were gonna act. Let me just say this though, because Lauren did come into the hotties house cool calm and collective like she was doing her own thing she wasn't all rowdy all hyped up trying to pretend to be somebody that she's not and she was just being herself you know what i'm saying and i respect her for that and i salute her because she came in here so you really want to really do this right now on live radio right now so okay basically what she's trying to say is she's trying to make it seem like i'm pretending to be somebody that i'm not and for those who do know me back at home or y'all just know me on tv because i'm i'm a social media influencer regardless before i came into the hottie's house but um y'all see me on the at the auditions as well you know what i'm saying when i went to the auditions i already started growing my fan base so this beach right here is trying to make it seem like I'm pretending to be somebody that I'm not and I am who I am. I was adopted. I am a foster child. My family, my parents, my mother, my father, they are black. I don't know my birth parents. So for her to sit there and make it seem like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm faking it. I'm faking the funk. No, I'm really not. I'm being who I am and I'm true to who I am and I'm going to stick beside it. I mean, yeah, no cap. Like, I actually, I feel that. I really do. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm mixed or whatever. Like, my mama, she white. You know, my dad black or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when somebody try to tell me, oh, I'm pretending to be somebody, yeah, that does fuck with my mind. Like, nah, I'm not trying to be like nobody. I'm myself. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel that, you know, Emery, you got to, like, watch what you say to people sometimes because, like, that can get you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, no cap for real. Honestly, I don't even know why this is about me. This was about her. And I just felt some type of way. I had an opinion and I just felt like I needed to say it. I felt like she was trying to be somebody that she was not. And I felt like she was like one of those middle school girls trying to fit in. You know what I'm saying? That's all. That's it. Like it wasn't that serious. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, but if you want to come for somebody, you better make sure you got receipts, sis. Like, period, point blank. Like, that's just that. Like, you can't just be coming up to smile like, oh, be you. You're not being yourself. You're acting like this person, that person. You can't just do that. Like, sis, for real, because that will get you fucked up. And the type of energy I got, oh, I'm all about it. It wasn't even that serious, but we can deal with this at the house. Yeah, we sure can. I mean... I don't think, you know what I'm saying, she kind of, like, meant it that probably that way, but, like, she probably felt like, you know, you set a bad reputation for them because, like, you know what I'm saying, you got a lot of people out here that be like, oh, somebody's pretending to be somebody that they're not, but, I mean, I get what you're saying, you came from that, like, that's who you are, like, just walking your truth, that's it, period, like, if Emery, like, honestly, like, you can't try to, like, read a book by its cover, like, you gotta get to know Shorty before you can try to judge her, too, at the same time, like, you know what I'm saying? This this turned into a therapy session. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like easy said, but nah, nah, nah. We ain't about to do all of that. Like, let's go ahead and get to the next question, though. All right, smooth. So these questions right here, you know what I'm saying? These from the fans. This ain't for me. This ain't from Tay. You know what I'm saying? This strictly from the fans. They want to know all these questions right here. So this question right here is from Mercedes. So they want to know when you dropping that record. Well, honestly, I was going to wait um, until, you know what I'm saying, the reunion or whatever. But uh, so basically what I was planning on doing was performing at the reunion, you know what I'm saying, for our opening act. That's what the plan was, you know what I'm saying? Damani didn't want me to say nothing, but I'm going to go ahead and say it because, you know, y'all my sisters and stuff like that. But I was going to surprise y'all with that. But yeah, that's that's the plan. Yeah, I ain't sleeping on the record, y'all. I got y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? We working on it right now. We doing some skits for real. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, y'all heard it out of her mouth. She said what she said. She's going to be performing at the reunion. So y'all better stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? She's going to be that opening act. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? Yeah. All right. So this is for all the hotties up in here right now. Like the fans want to know this question. Um, I ain't going to order with the comments. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just going to go ahead and break it down to y'all. So they want to know with all the drama that has occurred in the house. Have y'all, you know, y'all goals shifted as far as becoming famous, you know, what are y'all goals now like what's going on so far Yo, anybody can speak on this one i mean i feel like yeah i can go ahead and speak on this one uh, myself so honestly like for me i feel like me doing things on my own with all that drama that has occurred 
me writing my songs and stuff, trying to get away from the hotties and stuff so I don't, you know, put my hands on no beaches, you know what I'm saying? I then started writing a bunch of songs for myself, and then I ended up meeting up with Damani, you know what I'm saying? So I can produce my track and stuff like that. So my goals is for me to become a celebrity. Like, I'm trying to be a rapper out in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get my name out there, which is already happening, you know, with me being on the hotties house, or the uh, hotties in the valley, and then, you know, with me working with Damani, and he's like, a big timer right now you know what i'm saying he's a big deal to all these people out in the you know the world and skits so i'm doing my skits with him yeah so um that's what all i can say like my goals is still being achieved and my goals is still being accomplished but i don't know about the, the other hotties you know what i'm saying i i guess they gotta speak for themselves so i know i haven't been in the hotties house for too long but i have been doing my own brand my own branch and stuff like that branching out myself with uh, Damani's fiance, which is Braylon, you know, so I've been doing my modeling and stuff like that. She has a, a swim line coming out, you know, so we was modeling for the swimsuits and stuff like that. And she, you know, I've, I've been doing modeling basically my whole life for real. So that's kind of like a big time deal for me. And that's something that I'm actually growing to become is a model. Like, that's what I really want to do. Like, so if y'all see me like on America's Next Time Model or something like that, mind your business. But y'all know that I said it first and I'm going to be here, you know, period. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, with all the drama and stuff that I've seen and so far, like, I feel like with the new girls coming into the house, Everybody's starting to have a better mindset. I'm hoping. And yeah, let's, let's, we just go get to the money. Let's get to this bag, ladies. Like We got to get it together because we have a, su a support group behind us that's watching us and people that look up to us. So we got to get it together. Um, I definitely agree with Lauren said and also I'm proud of Mercedes because she's actually out here doing the daggone thing by herself, you know, trying to do things on her own so she don't have to depend on somebody else. And that's what I like about Mercedes so much because she goes so hard. Most of these ladies go so hard and they do what they got to do for themselves and for their families and stuff like that to get their bag. But, you know, we are really working on a few things. I do want some of the hotties to come back next season if they can. Um, I want to work with them outside of the hotties, like not just on TV, but I want to work with them with a lot of stuff. Like we have so many things planned. We have this event coming up. Yeah, so we have a award ceremony coming up. It's a red carpet, basically. Red carpet ceremony. It's like a meet and greet. So I want all of our fans to be there. It's going to be big. And, you know, I have to hook up with a lot of celebrities and stuff like that. Like, I know Chris Brown, the baby, all of them. So, like, we're definitely about to, you know, branch out and do what we got to do. And, yeah, I want to get their names out there. I definitely want to work with some of the other hotties that they auditioned before and some of them that I sent home. I am hoping to work with them as well okay okay i see how y'all ladies coming y'all coming with that big one for real y'all gonna eat for real so y'all heard it first y'all heard it from the ladies they said what they said they goes and what they gonna be doing and stuff like that i ain't about to go down the line with all of the hotties you know what i'm saying because they all kind of speak it for each other at this point well at least eating is all right so next question uh so we got a, a couple more questions and then we're gonna go ahead and wrap this skits up you know what i'm saying because i know y'all got stuff to do y'all gotta go ahead and you know finish doing y'all big one or whatever so the next question right here basically is it's for mercedes you know what i'm saying even though it was like the same question but anyway this fan said okay first off hey boo i love you <laughs> you're so dope but when are you dropping new music right along with the music video i would love to see it hey boo yeah yeah you know big sadies love you too you know what i'm saying so uh like i was saying earlier um so i do plan on you know performing at the reunion or whatever um, I do have a song coming out real soon. My whole album about to be coming out real soon. Uh, I just got to talk with Damani or whatever to find out when we're going to drop this skit. You know what I'm saying? But it's about to be a hit. But uh, yeah, it, you know, music take a little time. You know what I'm saying? Especially me being an upcoming artist and stuff like that. You know, my vocals got to get right. I got to get it right. Got to get it tight. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. I got music coming out. I got some heat for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go eat to this. Okay, okay. Big Sadie's coming with that heat. Yeah, we can't wait, man. We know this shit gonna be lit. I can't wait. I'm excited. Yeah, so we all excited. The fans is waiting. I hope you got something, you know, down packed, something ready. I'm ready for this performance. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to do, see you do your big one. You know, I'm a fan for real. Like, yeah, I, I really fuck with you for real, Mercedes. Like, you cool as skits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So the next question, this question right here is for eating y'all. So uh, they want to know, why didn't you check your man before trying to, you know, beef with Trinity? Your man was in the wrong and you should have checked him, period, Pooh. 
so like i said before like honestly i knew this was coming but i didn't check him because he left yeah i could have probably called him and probably popped up at his house and something like that and said something to him i said what i had to say to him but at the end of the day man i was very emotional i was broken i was heartbroken because i lost a friend then i lost my man like at the same time like, i've lost trust with my man like we're still together to this day but i'm not really talking to him like i have no words for him um he better come with a big one he better come with a real real big big apology for me to even want to take him back or deal with him because at this point i'm just doing me i'm focusing on you know my brand focusing on my, my ladies right here trying to get the money trying to get the bag you know hosting events and parties and clubs and stuff like that like i'm not really worried about a cigarette to be honest like i'm just worried about me getting out there and becoming a better me that's it like i'm not even tripping like trinity if you listening to this i am sorry sis i hope one day we can actually have a conversation and sit down and talk about this hopefully at the reunion or something i hope that you will like to talk to me and hopefully we can hash it out because i do feel bad about it because i was in a wrong i should have definitely um said something to him instead of her because i know she wouldn't do me like that but i just felt like i guess it was the liquor in me and stuff like that it just had my mind racing and had me thinking and she was really like entertaining this you know what i'm saying yeah yeah i feel you on that one i mean i'm hoping trinity if you listening to this sweetheart I, i'm hoping you can have a you know a good headset and hopefully open arms you know what i'm saying to talk with eden you know she said what she said she apologized she said she in the wrong she want to talk to you you know what i'm saying that's a big one for real like that's a real woman she's talking on live right now this is probably like probably thousands or millions of people watching this right now we live baby we live all right so my next question this is the last question of the uh topic right now you know what i'm saying hopefully i can interview y'all again you know catch up on y'all see how things is going but uh yeah so the next question for lucille so lucille why uh why you always got beef with somebody especially if it was old it happened a long time ago just let it go like that's what they want to know like they want to know why you beef with people and you know what i'm saying the beef be all the skits but you still holding that grudge on your shoulder like what's really tea says what's really good what's going on with that yeah that's actually a good question i've been trying to figure that out too like dang like man give my sis jasmine a chance you know what i'm saying like you holding the grudge on her and she ain't got nothing to do with it if anything you should have been mad at uh eating you know what i'm saying but yeah we want to know the 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 whole the whole team want to know the supporters want to know we want to know the fans want to know the trolls even want to know you know what i'm saying the ones that are sending you the threats and hate comments and stuff they want to know like what's going on with you like what's good like why are you holding this grudge against you know what i'm saying people that you you know don't like or people that's in the house and stuff like that and the, the beef be real old skid so i knew this was going to happen this was going to be one of the questions i'm pretty sure because a lot of people got questions for me but um since i've been in the hotties house you know what i'm saying i'm starting to learn where loyalty is and things like that and how people start moving different and stuff like that you know but um i was fighting so hard for my friend Lin yang because i felt like you know what i'm saying that was my best friend and we was gonna keep in touch and all of that good skits you know when she did leave but i was like girl i got your back i'm gonna hold your your own i'm gonna hold your ground for you because i knew that she wasn't gonna do it for herself you know the yang is a good girl she's a sweet lady you know what i'm saying and she don't be bothering nobody and stuff like that so when i felt like they was coming up and ganging up on her and stuff like that i'm just like i want war i want to fight everybody in this house you know what i'm saying all for my friend but i'm learning to not you know what i'm saying have people's backs that don't got my back and honestly i i don't know why i hold on to things like that but it's more certainly because i've been through a lot in my life and it's hard to forgive somebody especially when things happen to you when they did things to you like i don't want to say it you know what i'm saying because it's personal business but yeah like i don't really want to go through that no more but at the end of the day like it's just like i've been through a lot of skits in my life and it's hard for me to forgive and i just you know what i'm saying i don't know how to forgive to be honest like i try to apologize to the beach but it's like we we always beefing like i don't know i don't know you're gonna have to probably like figure it out on your own because i don't think it's gonna happen but um i'm trying i'm really trying i'm really really trying i have a lot of things in my life that i want to do i have goals for myself so i'm trying to set those and try to mind my business and stay out of beef where i don't need to be at
all right all right so y'all heard from the ladies y'all got their saturday story they answer y'all questions and stuff like that howdies it was a pleasure of y'all coming over here talking with me and tay you know what i'm saying our radio live station you know what i'm saying it was lit it was nice y'all was definitely honest with a lot of questions that we was asking you know what i'm saying like y'all kind of maintain all y'all issues and stuff like that hopefully y'all can resolve whatever issues y'all got going on at home you know what i'm saying but yeah i really appreciate y'all coming out i'm hoping that we can you know what i'm saying sit down again and do another interview with y'all hopefully maybe one-on-one -on -one, you know what i'm saying i'm gonna be watching the hottie show i can't wait for the reunion i already know you know mercedes she's gonna be dropping that heat i'm excited for it you know what i'm saying y'all stay tuned for that you know what i'm saying like yeah yeah this was nice this was real lit i enjoyed myself yeah so tell you got anything that you want to say real quick nah man i mean this skits was cool as fuck like i enjoyed myself you know what i'm saying y'all actually was open y'all was talking to us like you know like we ain't strangers or nothing like that y'all real honest y'all the real truth and i really fuck with that like i love honesty that's all i say keep it real okay you know cap okay but yeah yeah um i enjoy myself with y'all hotties you know what i'm saying and yeah it was a nice time Y'all stay tuned. Y'all go follow all these ladies on um, social media. You know what I'm saying? Simstagram, all that, all that. You know what I'm saying? Social Bunny, all that good stuff. Y'all stay tuned for that reunion. You know what I'm saying? Episode what? Seven, eight coming up real quick, real soon. Yeah, we on episode eight, I believe. But yeah, y'all stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'm out. Peace. Yeah, well, you know, Tay said what she had to say. She already told y'all. Y'all go ahead. Make sure y'all follow all these hotties. You know what I'm saying? So y'all can keep up with their lives and skits. You know what I'm saying? But first and foremost, and don't forget, make sure y'all subscribe to Giselle Sims, you know what I'm saying? Because she put all of this together like it wouldn't be possible without her, you know what I'm saying? So y'all make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Turn on that post notification bell and all that good skits. Comment down below and all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? She the truth, you know? She doing her big one. And I rock with her for that, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with her. But yeah, y'all, we out, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, we're going to see y'all on the next show. Y'all stay tuned for the next video. You know what I'm saying? All that good skits. Better go ahead and go to commercial. And we out. Peace. Okay, y'all. So, the girls just got back from the radio station. And hopefully, I, I can't tell y'all what happened so far. Because, of course, when I'm doing my editing and stuff like that, we would see what's going to happen. So, y'all got to just stay tuned for it. But anyways by the time y'all got to this point y'all will already have seen what happened i actually enjoyed doing the interview with easy and tay like that was really nice um but i felt some type of way because emory tried to put me on blast there and it's just like girl do you want to fight like what's really good like what's up anyway so the girls well lauren is watching thorn on the tv y'all and like girl why are you watching that who's calling eating right now Wow, Morris is calling. What's up, Eden? One of my friends have heard. Okay, whatever. He wants to give out her number to somebody. So we're just going to see who that is. Eden has to use the bathroom. Where's the rest of the ladies at? Jasmine, go use the bathroom, sis. Oh, you made hot dogs. No, Lauren made those. Oh, okay. Lauren had made some hot dogs. And Amira and uh, Emery over here hitting it off, for real. They're talking and stuff like that. Oh. <laughs> and Emery's oh, just like I don't really like none of the girls in this house Oh Dang they came out deep y'all So while I'm over here chopping it up With Amira Here comes Eden, Mercedes, and Jasmine All at once And I kind of slipped up and told him like you know Well told Amira like you know what I'm saying I really don't like the girls whatever I was kind of talking skits a little bit But honestly it's the truth All these beaches in this house are fake as fuck they came out real, real freaking deep and they hear Emery talking to Amira, talking skits or whatever. And of course, Mercedes will be the first one, but she just giving her that little side eye like, beach. you already know what's up. Honestly, y'all, like I've been trying to keep my cool in this house, trying to be cool with all the hotties in here. And I over here, over her, you know what I'm saying, uh, Emery talking skits to the new girl, Amira, like, talk about she don't like the girls up in the house and this that and the third but like it's like girl would you say it to my face because you already know how i'm coming and then eden's over here she's like wow like she really talking skits about us emory is definitely giving me little sister little high schooler want to be cool with the new girl and talk down on the other girls that's been there that's been your friend that's been providing for you and you know what i'm saying being there for you and you trying to make M Amira basically turn her back on us and like kind of feel some type of way about us. Like, sis, what are you really doing for real? And then Jasmine's like, <laughs> like, I don't care about that beach. 
I already knew the beach was fake. You know what I'm saying? I just had to see from my own two eyes. But for her to sit here and be talking skits to the new girl about all of us, like, girl, like, you so fake in this house. Like, you act like you cool with everybody. You want to apologize to everybody and stuff like that. And here you come now trying to suck up to the new girl, trying to be friends with her because you feel like everybody's not on your side no more after this radio interview. Like, girl, bye. Get your life. I want her out the house anyway. So, <clears throat> Y'all, it's a lot of things that's about to happen. So, Eden, where are you going, sis? You're going to go wash your hands. Eden's about to say something to her like, why are you over here running your mouth? She's going to be like, why are you over here running your mouth to uh, the new girl, basically? The somebody that I um, hired to come into the house, basically. You know what I'm saying? Because she did hire her. Because apparently she's paying these ladies to be in this house. At this point, I feel like you're biting the hand that feeds you at this point. Like, you're turning against me for some reason. Odd reason. I don't even know what it is. But Emery has this, like, evil chip on her shoulder where it's like she's talking to that evil one. And then she has the angel where she's talking to the angel sometimes. So she can be nice and then she can be evil. Like, I don't know. But I'm not going to lie. Like, I really feel like something's really wrong with this girl. Like, she's sick in the head or something. Like, something's wrong. She has mental issues or something. Because it's like, one minute you're cool with us. The next minute you don't fuck with us. Or you're talking skits about us in the house of other people. Like, that girl don't have nothing to do with whatever you got going on in your life. Or in the back of your day on head, girl. Like, get yourself together. So she's just going to be like... <clears throat> Why are you running your mouth over here talking skits about me and the other girls? Like, we're not the ones that's been here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you over here running your mouth the whole time. I can cancel you any minute, sweetheart. Like, you seen what happened to your roommate. See, I'm not somebody that likes to be involved in so much drama, but I had a feeling that this was going to happen. I mean, Emery was just talking to me, telling me how she felt about the girls in the house and stuff like that. Like, I'm just listening. I didn't even ask her about it, you know what I'm saying? And she just came out and said it. I don't know why, but I don't want her to feel like I'm only on her side. And I don't want the other girls to feel like, you know, I'm playing roles, I'm playing sides, I'm switching lanes and stuff like that because that's not what I'm doing. Like, I was just listening to what the beach had to say at the end of the day, but I still fuck with all the other hotties in the house. And I don't want them to think, oh, because Emery said something to me, I'm not fucking with y'all. Like, nah, that's not it. First of all, Eden pays me, so... I'm not going to turn on her because that's where I need my money from. Like, that's where I need my money from. And, you know, I'm all about the bag at the end of the day. But I'm not going to switch up on them because of what somebody said. Like, what? I'm too grown for that. I'm just like, you seen what happened to your roommate. We're going to argue about the career and stuff like that. So Eden brings up, you see what happened to your roommate. Like, beach, I'm not scared of you, Eden. Just because you're the host, like, I'm not scared. I will go out just like Trinity did. Like, I'm not scared of you. I will go out with a bang if I need to. I hold my own. I hold my ground. Like, I'm not about to uh, fuck with these beaches. I'm really not. I don't have time for it. You heard what I said, and that was that. I don't fuck with y'all, and that's it. I'm not scared. What? What's up? Jasmine, I'm going to need you to hurry up, sis. Matter of fact, let me cheat your knees because she was talking about you, too. Like, we're not going for that. Like, we're not about to go for that. So, Jasmine's going to come over here also, and she's going to say something to Emery as well. See, this is what y'all really be wanting to see. Y'all want to see all the drama and all the tea and everybody fighting and stuff like that. We not get into the bag when we fight. And that's the thing. That's my problem. But the fact that Emery talking skits about all three of us had me fucked up for real. Because I did nothing wrong to her but be a friend. I was actually kind of loyal to her. You know what I'm saying? I was getting to know the beach. But now she want to be talking fucking skits about me. Like, I'm not the one to be messed with either. Like, you see what happens in this house all the day on time. Like. I don't, I don't back down from nothing. And she just gonna be like, bitch, you think you're the baddest one in this house. You think that you're cute and you walking around here like you, um, like your ish don't stink and stuff like that. Like somebody won't touch you because I will, but like, Eden probably won't, but I, I definitely will. Get over here, Jasmine. And then Emery is going to go back and forth with them also. Like, well, first of all, I'm not. If I was talking about y'all, then that was it. Like, I'm not going to back down and say I wasn't talking about y'all because I was. This beach is in this house. Honestly, think I'm scared or something. I'm not scared of none of you beaches in here. And on top of that, like, y'all not about to gang up on me and think that I'm about to just back down because I'm going to hold my own and stand my ground. But that's just because I felt like, you know what I'm saying, you guys be acting real fake sometimes. So she just like, y'all be acting real fake. 
and y'all act like everybody in here is friends one minute one minute and jasmine's like girl shut up nobody want to hear none of that that she's talking about and they just ganging up on her right now Ooh, mercedes came all skits all skits so emory over here talking about we fake and we be acting like friends one minute we friends one minute we not like beach i let you sleep in my bed so how am i fake like i let you have somewhere to sleep when you ain't had nowhere to go you know what i'm saying like girl get a hold of yourself for real because i'm gonna have to put my paws on you and i really don't want to have to do that like for real mercedes but like, hold on now like shorty like hold on mercedes please change because your your legs is so hairy right now sis. we cannot do this we can't do this okay and she gonna be like, hold on, shorty, like, you you, you got the right one today because I'm not the one to be playing with, like, I'm not the one, like, you already know, I shut skit down, Emery, like, you already know, so, they gonna basically, they're basically all just tag teaming her right now and saying what they say because she's like, you're talking to the new girls about us and whole time, the new girls, they don't even know you, they don't care for you, and Emery's trying to back it up and she's just like, I don't y'all got me messed up in here y'all got me so fucked up like i don't even know who y'all think y'all talking to like, i'm not about to back down for nothing like i'm not it's three against one and it's giving bully right now so jab is like i've been wanting to touch you like for real like you've been playing a lot of mind games and i'm not for it and lucille's like hold on who's talking about who so I'm just walking past minding my business and all of a sudden I hear all the girls arguing with Emery or whatever and I hear you know they talk about somebody talking about somebody so I'm like who's talking about who like what's really going on like fill me in sis what's the tea so uh Mercedes like oh no nah, she over here talking about all of us like because you know her and uh Lucille kind of got like a good relationship a little bit but she's like nah she over here talking about uh all of us for real i heard her say all of our names all the people that's been in the house since she's been in here and all of that so like they just basically going at it <laughs> tag teaming her sass right now because she's like you running your mouth to the new girls like that's fake and mercedes like girl that is so fake that's fake as fuck like bro like you got a lot of nerve to be coming up in here doing it like what's your problem shorty like what's your problem like what's good at this point, I feel like, you know, Eden should just go ahead and send her home because I'm not with all of this. Like, I, I'm ready to fight, like, to be honest. Like, all this talking back and forth, I don't got time for the skits, like, for real. I'm ready to put my hands on you and drag you real quick, sis, like, for real. So, Emery is going to be like, who she got more beef with? This is moving so slap. She's going to be like, first of all, y'all got a lot of nerd to be coming at me all at once, like, Y'all can't fight your own battles. Like, y'all can't fight your own battles that y'all gotta come over here and, and jump me, basically, and argue with me at the same goddamn -dag time. Like, nah, that's not how we gonna do this. I guess these beaches feel like, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to bow down on one knee and be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to talk skits about y'all. No, I said what I said. You guys are fake, but what you're not gonna do is try to gang up on me. It should be one on one at a time, you know what I'm saying? We all grown here, ain't we? <sighs> Girl, you ain't even gotta pee no more. You don't even gotta pee no more. And she's just like, no beach. Like, Eda's like, no beach. Like, my girl's is gonna have my back regardless. You're supposed to be one of our sisters. And look how you carrying skits. Look how you doing stuff. And then Lucille gonna be like, I mean, me and Jasmine, we don't have, we not on the, you know, the right um good terms right now, but. If you talking about us, Emery, that's fake as fuck. I just feel like if Emery don't want no beach to step up to her, then she should close her goddamn on mouth. Because why are you running your mouth talking about all of this stuff and saying we fake, you don't like us and stuff like that. But we've been here for you ever since we got here to this hottie's house. Like we supposed to be the originals, but you acting like one of the new girls and you acting like a little sussy for real. Like you shouldn't even be talking about us. Like we supposed to be sisters at the end of the day because you know what i'm saying that's what we do but you embarrassing all of us on national television like what is really going on if you want to be a embarrassment on national television emory then you can just say that but not for me or not for my other girls in this hottie's house like we not going out like that like you really playing with us and it's given that you want all the attention to be on you and you want your sass be for real like what's good Oh, yeah. Jasmine is letting her have it, bro. Jasmine is letting her have it. And she's like, no, I'm just saying, like, she's like, I'm just saying that 
y'all be acting fake in this house sometimes like i just don't understand why is it an issue that i'm saying this and and then eden's like no it's an issue because you're sitting there talking skits about us behind our back instead of saying it's our face like you're a hottie ain't you so act like one she's like so act like a hottie i'll be dag dag darn if you know what i'm saying uh emory embarrass me on tv like that's not gonna happen sis because if you really want the attention to be on you just say that but at the end of the day pull us to the side don't be talking skits about us and somebody and then we live right now sis like what's really going on with you like I didn't bring you in this house for you to be acting like this, especially towards me. So act like a hottie. And she's like, what do you mean? Act like a hottie. I am a hottie. Like, she's like, y'all not about to come up in here and try to like tag team me. That's what you're not going to do. Mercedes don't want the bed, y'all. She went to sleep. She said, I don't got time to be dealing with Emery and her skits. She's like, girl, please. Like, you're just like, so, uh. First of all, you came into the house drunk as skits. What's going on? You shouldn't have to ask. You could say I'm a little bitter. Oh, girl, please. And she's just like, y'all. She's like, no, they're uh, shoot. I can't. Even. It is like you came in here thinking that you're better than everybody, of course. And then on top of that, your sass was drinking so much that you know it was just chaotic. When Emery first came into this house, she was an alcoholic. Like, she was pouring drinks back to back, taking shots back to back. Like, girl, now all of a sudden, you starting to clean yourself and get better. You have this whole grudge or attitude against everybody in this house. And we did nothing to you, sis. Like, for real. Like, I tell y'all all the time, don't bite the hand that feeds you because I will eliminate you immediately, baby. Immediately. And then she gonna be like, well, you know what? Y'all need to shut up. And then she gonna shove Eden. Eden's gonna be like, oh heck nah, heart, heart nah. <laughs> at this point, I'm sick and tired of these beaches coming at me sideways and keep running their mouth. So you know what? I went ahead and put my hands on Eden because it's just like, girl, shut up. Like you keep talking about you're the host, you're the host. This is the same reason why Trinity put her hands on you, beach. Like for real. I'm not scared of none of these beaches in this house. Y'all wanna jump me? Then jump me. That's fine. But I'ma still hold my own. And y'all look like the embarrassment on TV, not me. Oh well, look, dang, Lucille came right behind her. She said, hold on, you want to play them games? We can, we can go. She said, we can go. What's good? You want to play them games? We can, we, can, we can get it right now. We can get it right now. She's like, Eden, you're disgusting. You're sick. I don't even know why Morris even would have wanted you and all of that. Oh, she didn't put her, she didn't shove uh, Eden, y'all. Eden, what you gonna do about that? What you gonna do, Eden? Because clearly you got the beef with her right now. Clearly you got the beef with her. Uh, Beach, how we even start bringing up Sig is involved in this whole argument? Like, sis, are you really serious? Like, you have nothing else to talk about? So you trying to go up below the belt and try to bring up my man? Like, come on, girl. Like, for real, be real with yourself. Like, Emery, please be real. And Devin be like, why would you even push put your hands on Eden? Like, you already know you can get canceled. Like, what's good, sis? Like, do you really want to fight? At this point, I'm just sick and tired of Emery's pink headed beach sass. Like, girl, please just go home. Like, you do not belong here. You're not a real hottie. And you're just here for clout. Do you really want to fight? Jasmine's like, do you really want to fight? Because I've been wanting to fight. I've been wanting to fight all day. Talk about her mama. Like, I've been wanting to fight all day. So, what's good, sis? What's up? What's up? I've been wanting to fight. She's like, I've been wanting to fight so we can fight. I don't back down. All these other girls in here, they walking away and stuff like that. No. Like, I will fight you. I will beat your sass, Emery. I will beat your sass. And she's like, you think I'm the one? Oh, I'm not. I'm just tired of Emery walking around here like her skits don't stink. I'm not the one. Y'all, it's so hard to try not to curse and then like doing this. Oh my God. I gotta add some drama into this. Oh, Eden is coming for her right now. She's like, girl, you do not, you do not want none of these problems. This is the type of energy we supposed to have to the beaches outside of the hottie's house. But Emery, she wanna be on the other side of the house basically. And she wanna play these games with us. Like, I'm not the one, Jasmine's not even playing. Who's still not playing? And Big Sadie's is not really playing with Shorty. Like, for real, she got it right. Like, for real, she got it handed to her for real. Like, I'm not even playing with this girl no more. Like. I'm sick of this skit. You do not want any of these problems. 
She's like, you do not want these problems. Chew her out, Eden. Chew her out. And it, Emery's gonna try to fight her, fight Jasmine, basically. She's gonna chew her out and she's gonna try to fight her. Because she's like, I'm tired of running my mouth. I'm tired of going back and forth. I don't do all of this talking, talking, talking. Like, I don't have time for that. She's gonna try to throw a drink at her. And she's like, I don't do all of this talking. Y'all playing with me. And da 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 woo woo. I'm not the one. I am not the one. Trust me. I don't back down from a fight. I don't back down from a fight. Where all you other sisters at? Oh, she's shoving on Jasmine. This is what y'all bitches wanted. Like, y'all wanted a reaction out of me, and you got one. Your girl right here is not playing no games with none of y'all. Okay, Jasmine's like, oh, hold on. So you want to touch? You want to put your hands on me? See, that's all I wanted. I wanted a sister to put her hands on me. I wanted her to touch me so I could have a reason to be her sass. Like, for real. Like, you playing with me, and I'm not the one. Oh, sis, it's a wrap for you. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, Eden. I mean, not Eden. It's a wrap, Emery. They about to fight. So. It, uh, here come uh, gotcha. Eden, because she can be like, yeah, throw me my face, too. Run me my face, because I want to fight, and you're going to fark home. Because first of all, you put your hands on me, bitch. You put your hands on me, and I don't rock like that. I don't go for all of that. Lucille, bring your sass in here, too, girl. Get in here. You need to see this. Go right here. Jog right here. Mercedes jog right here. New girls, y'all all wanna be in bed and stuff. Y'all don't want no problems, I see. But y'all better bring y'all butt over here. Cause they hear like they're gonna hear all the commotion and stuff like that. You know, downstairs. Of course, they right here by the bedrooms upstairs. So they, they hear all the commotion and everything. They hear all the noise. So they fight in. So I was upstairs getting some sleep and I hear so much noise going on downstairs. So I got up so I could see what the heck is going on. Come to find out, Jasmine and Emery are downstairs fighting. And I'm like, what is really going on? Like, I haven't even been in the house for like 78 hours. And it's just like, what's really going on right now? Like, I want to know. So I ran down the steps, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, what? What are y'all doing? Like, why are y'all even fighting? Is this even that serious? Like, what is really good let's see who gonna win who gonna win who gonna win come on jazz come on jazz what per says what per says jazz yeah yeah what per says and eden's like yeah i want my my face too i want my face too run me my face i know y'all probably like eden you're supposed to be the host and why are you involved in this drama but you know what sis really had a hand into her like she really had it coming and i just felt like you know what i'm saying she's really fake and you're not about to play with me or nor the girls in this house and that's not happening and then she put her hands on me first so i want her to run me my fade one time for real like i want to be her sass too and then she's going home oh. here come mercedes look at them they're like oh my god oh. <gasps> emory done beat jasmine sash y'all oh my god okay so eating about to be like hold on uh-uh jasmine was talking all that skits and got her sass beat by your girl right here yes mm-hmm yeah i want all these girls right here to run me my fade all y'all can line up at this point because i'm sick and tired of this bull skits Run me my fade. Run me my fade right now. She'll be like, run me my fade. And you going home, beach. And you going home. And you going home. They're like, what is going on? Like, what is really going on? So all the girls is in here ganging up on Emery. And I'm just like, dang, like I missed the fight. Like, I wanted to be a part of that because I really wanted to fight Emery says since I got into the house and she tried to come for me. Like you really played it you really did and now you getting beat up but for bro she actually beat they up beat them up so i don't know but i'm just like dang like i really wanted to fight the beach and now it's like everybody ganging up on her like i was gonna have my turn of course you know what i'm saying and i had words for sis i really had to say something to her but hmm, for the looks of it she's going home she's like uh cream was like what is really going on so mercedes like well she was talking to uh not I'm trying to do a keg stand. She was like, she was talking to uh, M Amira and running her mouth. Ex due date. Hold on. Who pregnant? She not pregnant. She's not pregnant. No. I think Mercedes can be funny about it. She's like, what's going on? Y'all out here yelling and stuff. Like, what's really going on? So Amira's gonna just be talking to Lauren and she just like, girl, I was talking to Emery and she just started talking about um talking about the girls. Like she started getting messy. So the girls asked 
they walked up on her and they heard her talking. Lord. He was like, nah, what's good? What's good? Because you're going home. You're going home, Emery. You're going home. You are going home, Emery. At this point, just looking at the beach is making me disgusted. Like, I'm sick of her. I'm ready for her to leave. She needs to go. Pack your skits, Emery, and get the fuck out of the hottie's house right now. I'm sick of this skits, okay? You've been walking around here thinking you slick. Walking around here like you cute. And you've been drinking all the alcohol. Like, what's up? What's up? You're going home, beach. You're going home. I feel like all of these beaches wanted to get me out of this house, to be honest. Like, no cap. Because, you know what I'm saying? They're all ganging up on me, all of them. And I'm one person, and they coming to me sideways. Like, I will line all of y'all up real quick and fight. Because I'm not going out of this house without a fight. It's time for you to go. Period. Get your stuff and get out. And Emery's like, put me out, Eden. Put me out. She's like, oh, yeah? Okay. I'm going to put you out. Put me out, Eden. Put me out. Oh, that's what you really want me to do, Emery? You really want me to put my hands on you? Eden's like, you really want me to put my hands on you? Your Emery's like, Eden, seriously? Like, I did nothing to you. I'm starting to feel bad for Emery because it's just like all the girls are ganging up on her right now at once. And it's just like, dang, like. All she said was she don't fuck with y'all that she think y'all fake. <laughs> but I mean, I would be the same way too, but it's just like the way that they're handling it is not cute at all. And now I know, like, I can't say skits to none of these beaches in this house without them trying to gang up because they feel like, okay, well, we're the originals and you guys are the new girls, so we're going to gang up on y'all. Even though, you know, Emery isn't a new girl, she's an original, but it's just like, dang, I feel like they probably wanted her to get out of this house, been wanting her to get out of this house. And... I'm not for all the drama, so I'm just sitting back and just listening to the argument. Come on. Come on, no. You didn't get over here and fight. She's like, Eden, I did nothing to you. You want to come over here and try to start skits with me? No. She's like, no, you were talking smack about all of us in this house. You're fake, and I don't do the fakeness, and I don't have time for it. At the end of the day, I'm a real beach, and I'm not about to have Emery embarrassing all of us on national television. Like, we have fans looking at us and people looking up to us, and they're like, dang, like, this is all they're doing is fighting. But at the end of the day, like, I would just want Emery to just go home in peace. But sis ain't trying to leave, and she want to fight, so we're going to leave with a fight. And that's just that. Since you got to go, you're getting out, we're putting your stuff out, and you are getting out now. Period. Point blank, period. And then Cream will be like, yeah, and you try to come for me. Like, everybody trying to gang up on her. And she's like, yeah, and you was trying to come for me uh, yesterday when you was talking skits about me, talking about I'm acting like this and act like that. I need to be myself and this, that, and the third. The whole time, you need to be yourself. So while all the girls are arguing with Emery, I'm like, you know what? This is the perfect time for me to say something my dad wants up because I know she's about to get sent home and I'm not going to be able to say that until reunion. So I had to tell the beach, you know, how I felt and I want to fight for real. Like, honestly, I'm not fucking with her. I don't like her and she really wants to be like me and that's how I feel. You trying to fit in, trying to be cool with all the girls and stuff like that and they don't even like you. They don't even fuck with you. Let's see. Who going to win? Let's see. Come on, Eden. Come on, Eden. Come on, Eden. Yes. What purse has Eden? What's good? What's good? What's good? Y'all, if Emery win this fight, I swear, it's going to be crazy. She beat all, both of their sasses in this house. Ooh. Y'all, Emery is not playing. Yeah, I want all of you bitches to line up right now. Immediately. Line up so I can run my fade on all of y'all and dog all of y'all. She not playing. Okay, she's like... Any beach in this house. Hold on, let me let me get the animation, y'all. Hold on. Who wanna fight? Who else wanna fight? Any beach in this house wanna fight? We can fight, and I'm not about it. I'm not playing these games. I'm sick and tired of you beaches in this house. Like I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. What's good? What do y'all wanna do? What do y'all wanna do? I'm not gonna go home without a fight. That's it. What's up? Who wanna fight me? Who wants to check me right now? Because I'm not the one to be played with so let's get it what's up cream you want to fight let's go sis what's good <laughs> and she's like what's good you want to fight what's good what's good what's up what's good you want to fight y'all i wish we could just automatically fight like i just wish we could automatically fight like can i just set them as enemies or something like dang do you want to fight about it do you want to fight 
Do you want to fight? Where's Eden? Where's Lauren? Lauren's like, I have a freaking headache. This is crazy. Like, fight witness from witnessing the fight. Lauren isn't feeling too good after watching her friend lose that fight. Oh, she feels some type of way because where's she at? Oh, she feels some type of way because um, what you call it? Lost that fight. Yo, I've been watching this show, and I must say, this has been the most, the most, most, most craziest fight ever on this show. Like, they all ganging up on Emery. Emery is dogging them left and right, left and right. Like, sis is not playing no games. But it's just like, dang, like, wow. Like, does it have to even come to this? Like, we're supposed to be hotties and making money and being cute. Like, what are y'all doing? Let me have her go here. All you ladies need to come here. Come over here. Y'all need to witness this. Amira, get your sass up. Mercedes, what are you about to do? A keg stand? Girl, no, not today. Not today. Not today. Sorry, no. Uh, these girls is crazy up in here. And Jasmine got beat up. Eden got beat up. Who finna get beat up some more? Because Emery's not playing no games right now. She said, I'm not walking out without whooping all y'all. Line up. She said, line up. Right parking now. Line up. I want you to line up. I want all of you bitches to line up. I'm ready to fight all you bitches up in this house. Don't y'all want to come at me like that? Y'all want to come at me sideways? What's really good? Let's fight. I want to fight all of y'all. Uh-uh. I mean, cream. She said, oh, girl, I'm not playing these games with you. <laughs> I'm weak. Like, girl, bye. Like, bye, bitch. You can go ahead and leave now. Like, ain't nobody trying to hear nothing that you're talking about. I'm like, girl, eh, <laughs> I don't want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Because all you're doing is running your mouth. Come fight me then. Fight me then. You want to fight me? Come fight me then, sis. Come fight me. Throw them bows, sis. Like, I'm ready, sis. I've been waiting for you at the dell, sis. What's up? Let's get it. Like, come on. I don't have time for these games, bro. I'm so weak. Because she's like, girl, I'm not scared of you. I ain't scared of you. I will beat your sass. I will beat your sass. Okay, I need to have all the girls literally be in here going crazy real quick. Hold on. Is she not playing? Mercedes, turn around. Come over here. Mercedes already got an attitude. She's like, oh, you want to fight? Like, uh, Emery, I don't think you really want to do that. She's like, I would dog walk you up in this beach for real. Like, you got the right one. I'm not that one, though. Trust me, sis. You don't want these problems. She's like, you don't want these problems, beach. <laughs> you don't want these problems. And Laura's just like, oh my God, Mercedes, girl, calm down. She's like, nah, because she don't want these problems. Like, you don't want them. Y'all, Mercedes is going crazy right now. I'm like, I already know my bitch Mercedes. She don't play no games. I've been watching the show, you know what I'm saying? She got beat up a couple of times, but sis know how to fight. And she she crazy. Like, I don't want to be on that side. <laughs> but Emery got it coming for her because I'm just like, yeah, Mercedes got hyped now. She's like, oh. All you beaches got beat up in here. Now it's my turn. I want to I wanna fight. Like, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. I got my popcorn. I'm sitting back watching this show for real. You don't want them. <laughs> look at her. Look at her. Look at her, y'all. Look at her. Look at her. She ain't playing no games. She's like, you You don't want these problems, Emery. You don't want these problems, sis. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm trying to let you know right now. You want to fight all of us? We going to line up, sis. I ain't backing down for nothing. We going to line up. Let's go. <laughs> and Lucille is laughing, bro. Lucille is laughing. And she's like, yeah, this is too funny. <laughs> I'm just laughing in the background because, you know what I'm saying, it's not my beef or nothing like that. But Emery had to come in for her sass because she want to keep on running her mouth and stuff and being fake, talk about people behind their back and stuff. Like, girl, you a grown sass woman talking behind somebody's back. Like, say it to their face. And y'all know Mercedes ain't nobody to play with. Like, I didn't fault Mercedes, you know what I'm saying? I whooped her ass or whatever, but, you know, sis can fight and she don't play and she don't back down and she really hit hard for real. Like, I'm not even going to cap. She's like, this is too funny. Oh, my God. Cream was like, I'm ready to fight. Like, what's up? Oh, and she threw a drink at her. Oh, yeah. What's what's up? Come on, Cream. Where to fight at? Where we fighting? Let's fight. We need to fight right, right parking now. Shove her. Cause you wanna you wanna play these games, right? You wanna play, Emery? Cause we can go. We can go right now. Look, Mercedes is not playing. She's not playing. 
y'all like i really 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 want to give it to emory right sparking now like she playing with all of us she playing with my top my girl's top like girl you being real fake and you need to go home like beach i'm ready to dog walk you like for real like i'm sick of this kids i'm sick of it i'm sick of her running her mouth thinking that ain't nobody gonna touch her like she needs to get her sass beat i'm not that one for real like i'm the one that will dog you for real and knock your sass out jasmine's like what's good i'm ready to fight y'all this whole argument is so crazy you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day we're gonna stick beside each other no matter what and i feel like emory really had it coming because you being fake towards the sisters in the house and why are you playing with everybody like that i'm ready to fight again yeah that's what you get that's exactly what you get that's exactly what you get <laughs> these girls is going in here they're going crazy okay i feel like amira get over here girl because you're not even posing the right way that i want you to pose you talking skits over there you're talking skits over there I say it's like, come on, bro. Come on. You want to fight, right? You want to fight? Come on. Square up, bro. Square up. And Amir is just going to be like, this is really not my fight. So I'm just going to go mind my business. I mean, I was going to have Emery's back. But at the end of the day, sis, you brought this upon yourself. You decided that you wanted to talk to kids about the girls in the house. Knowing dag dag well that they was going to say something if they would have heard it. But this is not my beef. And I'm too pretty to be fighting. Like, I'm not trying to get these pretty little nails messed up. That's how she's like, I'm just going to go mind my business because this is not my fight. Eden then went to sleep. Eden got her sass beat. So at first I thought Amira was cool as fuck. But now it's like, beach, you walking away from this whole entire incident. Like I was talking to you about it. Like you're not going to have my back. Like you see all these girls trying to gang up on me and you ain't saying a goddamn thing. Like, wow. Okay, I just know that I can't fuck with no beach like you either. And she just like, she's going home. You're going to FARC home. No, where you think you're going, Cream? Fight. I need you to fight right now. We are going to fight right now. Let's go. Right FARCing now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Mercedes like, I want my fade too. Run me my fade. Run me my fade. Because I'm next. I'm next. Look at Jasmine. She said, get her, Cream. Get her, Cream. Get her, Cream. Yes. At this point, I'm just cheering on all my beaches. I'm like, yeah, get her, get her, get her. Because I do not like Emery. I do not fuck with her at all no more. You want to talk skits about all of us? So, yeah, beach, we're going to fight you. Well, first ass cream. Let's see. <laughs> Yo, I'm having too much fun. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's good? What's really good? What's really good? Yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all. How in the fart? How in the fart did you just get beat up by Emery? Emery ain't come to play, y'all. She ain't come to play. She's like, Mercedes, what's up? What's up? Because you talking a lot of skits right now. You over there running your mouth real, real big, real heavy. Real, real heavy. What's good? Y'all, I really going to give it to Emery. You know what I'm saying? She did dog walk all these hotties up in this house that came for her. You know what I'm saying? But that's because she ain't meet her match yet. And guess what? I'm her match. So let's get it, sis. Bring it. Bring all that energy. You running your mouth real, real heavy over there, sis. What's up? What's up? Ooh. All right. You want to play? You want to play? Mercedes is not going to have. She's not having that. Yo, Mercedes is ready to fight. Let me fight. Let me fight you. Let me dog walk you real quick, sis. Like, for real. You got the right one, sis. You about to meet your match, sis. You finna meet your match, sis. Let's see. Let's, 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 let's see. Let's see what you got. Yeah, what's up? She's like, yeah, you got the right one now. You want to play games with me? I'm not the one to be fucked with, sis. For real. I'm not the one to be fuck with. Oh, Mercedes, how you not, how you didn't do it right? You ain't do it right, sis. You ain't do it right. You ain't do it right, sis. And saw her. And saw her and all of that. What's up? She's like, girl, I ain't trying to hear none of that. None of that stuff that y'all talking about. I just whooped three of y'all beaches sasses in this house. Who going where? Who leaving what? Huh? Eden, bring your sass over here, man. She's going to FARC home. She gotta go. 
she gotta go because at this point she got beef with everybody in the house for real you're not safe in this house because Mercedes like every time I see you I'm going to whoop your ass I'm going to fight you I'm going to beat you up to lose or not I'm still going to beat you up so at the end of the day I think you should go home sis she's like I think you should go home you don't want to be here she's like you don't want to be here no more Emery you don't want to be here no more Emery I'm trying to tell you right now I'm trying to tell you some real good skits, sis. I'm trying to tell you. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be here, sis. So you might as well go ahead and pack your skits up right now and get the fart on out of here, sis. Come on, Mercedes. Put the lip out. Get, the, get it together. Fight. 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 Eden's like, she's going home anyway, Mercedes. You don't even got to do all of that. She's like, she's going home anyways. You don't even have to do none of this. You don't even have to do none of this. Oh, and she walked away. Uh-uh. Run me my face, sis. Run me my fucking face now. Yeah, Emery already know what's good, but she was too busy running her fucking mouth. So you know what? Now, nah, sis, come here so I can pop you up in that mouth right now. Right now. I want to fight. I want to fight. Mercedes like, I want to fight. Let's go. Paparazzi outside the house. Eating like, yo, this is bad. This is really bad. Y'all, this is terrible. We got paparazzi outside. I'm pretty sure they can hear all the commotion that's going on inside the house. But it's just like, dang, we already on TV. So they're going to see this anyway. But it is what it is. Emory, you got to go home, sis, because you're causing bad vibes, bad energy, negative energy. And you're making all of us look bad, sis. Go home. For real. I don't give a fuck. That bitch got to go. Says like that bitch gotta go. It's time for her to go. You're getting eliminated, bitch. It's time for you to go home. It's time for you to go home. Eviction notice is due, sis. You gotta go, sis. It's time to go, sis. You wanna keep it cute? Let's go. At this point, I feel like eating. She not handling her job too well. Like since you got your sass beat, how you get your sass beat and you the host of the show? So you know what? I had to get this girl eliminated real quick. You know what I'm saying? I had to scare her a little bit. But you know what? You got to go, Emery. It's time for you to go. You better find your match today. You better find your match today, sis. If she wins, if Emery wins this fight, y'all, I am I literally am shutting the computer down. I swear to you, I'm going to shut it down, bro. Let's go, Sadies. Come on, big Sadies. Let's go, Sadies. Come on, Sadies. What per sass, Sadies? What per sass, Sadies? Hey, what per sass, Sadies? Yo, yo, Emery is beating Mercedes Sass right now. That's what I'm talking about. Sadie's get her, Sadie's get her, Sadie's get her. She's like, Yeah, you want to fight, right? You you think you big and bad. You think you big and bad. Yeah, that's what the fuck I'm talking about right now. She said, yeah, you met your match, sis. I already told y'all. I'm not playing with none of you bitches in this house. None of you bitches. None of y'all. None of y'all. I'm not playing with none of y'all. None of y'all. Like, you can go. I'm not the one. They better fight again. Oh, my God. Who, who wanted to fight again? Mercedes said, I want to fight again. I'm going to go again. Like, what's up, Emery? You got to go, sis. You got to go. Oh, Mercedes says she want to fight again. Oh, my God. This is crazy, yo. All right. Yep. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I can't. Mercedes said I'm going to fight again. Oh, and she beat your stats for the one time, two times. Oh, my God. <gasps> Y'all, Mercedes whooped her ass again. Mercedes said, I'm not playing. You're going home. I wish I had that freaking animation where they throw the pool, I mean, the bed in the pool. I cannot. I cannot. I. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm weak. Who's, how many people she be even with now? Like four or five people? One, two, three, four. Yeah, four people. Beach. It's time for you to go. You're getting eliminated. It's time for you to go. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
bye bye so even is better just let her know like sis it's time for you to go i'm gonna get your little ugly picture and all of that stuff come get your stuff yeah out the door you go because we better lock you out we finna lock you out beach we finna lock you out it's time for you to go so go ahead and get your little um picture where you at sis yeah right here i'm get your picture are y'all about to fight again they finna fight again y'all oh they better fight again mercedes is not playing she not going for that y'all mercedes is not going for that mercedes is not going y'all she's not playing with emory mercedes said we about to fight again this is from every time my beaches lost their sasses from fighting you i'm dogging you every freaking time i see you basically like she's not playing bro oh my god mercedes oh my y'all i'm getting too hype i'm getting too hype I've been trying to be cool, calm, and collected with these beaches in this house. You know what I'm saying? Like, big cities have been fighting. I've been doing everything I need to be doing to get to this bag and all of that. Like, I've been, I haven't been worried about these beaches. You know, Emery tested me. All that anger came out inside of me. Like, I've been wanting to fight. I had that rage to fight. I had to fight. I'm ready to fight again. Like, sis, I will dog you every moment I get, every chance I get, sis. Bring it. Mercedes is my sticker for real, bro. Bro. She said, this is for all my beaches in this house that got their sass whooped by you. By you. You can't play with big Sadie's. <laughs> you can't play with big Sadie's, bro. You cannot play with big Sadie's. I'm not playing no games. Oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all. Oh, my God. Big Sadie's. Okay. Yeah. Mercedes ain't nobody to play with. She ain't nobody play with y'all. Oh my god. Okay. Champagne, you did your thing with this girl right here. All right, Emery, get your sass out. Get out, girl. It's it's just time for you to go, sis. Give up. She said, yeah, get the heck out of here, girl. Get out of here. <laughs> Move around. <laughs> I'm so done, bro. I'm so done. All the hotties getting here. We better lock her outside. Bye, beach. Bye. I'm leaving by choice. I don't even want to be in this house anymore because these beaches are fake in here. And you know what? Yeah, Mercedes gave it to me, but I dog walk all these girls that was in here before Mercedes. Like, I'm not playing with these girls. You know what? They better be ready for me at this reunion because I'm coming harder than ever. For real. We're going to lock the door. <laughs> She's going to be outside. Lock door for everyone because you're not coming back in here, baby. Bye, beach. You gotta go. It's time for you to go. Your time is up. Okay, bye. See you at the reunion. Come with that energy, sis. Peace out. Bye-bye. You're not coming back. <laughs> I'm so weak. Oh, my God. This was so funny. I don't know if she can get in here any other way, but Lucille is on her period. She needs to pass. I'm sorry, sis. Ain't nothing I can do right now, okay? And she don't even have none to use. Oh, my God. I got to get some. Wow. This was so crazy. <laughs> Yo, I'm proud of my beach right here. I'm proud. Mercedes, I'm so proud of you, sis. Like, you came a long way, sis. You haven't even fought in a long time, sis. And you literally just, like, you literally just showed me that you ain't nobody to play with, sis. You ain't nobody to play with. Period. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Come on, baby. Don't play with it. Don't play with Big Sadie's. <laughs> I'm freaking weak, y'all. Oh, my God. I'm weak. But, y'all, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end up this episode, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and join the Zebra gang, gang if you haven't by now. We would love to have you guys over here on this side. So subscribe on this channel, y'all. We like to have fun. But this is my LP where I can talk my skits, okay? And bring all the drama, all the tea, all that energy that I need to bring for this series. But yeah, I love y'all. Let's chat it up in the comment section. And I'll talk to y'all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>
Tell all these capping ass niggas who be flexing on that bullshit. Wouldn't have a chance if I gave it to you like my nigga Hillary Rich.